Uh, Coach, you guys started slow but got rolling, uh, able to take a lead on Eric's three, and then he gets uh, whistled for the technical, I guess. How much did you see that changing the momentum of this game? It's a huge change. So, I mean, there's, there, you know, I can't, I, I, I can't say it's not. It's a huge change. He knows better. It's the second game where he's gotten a technical and he's fouled out. I mean, he's a fiery guy, and he says that's you know part of why he um, is able to have some success. But do you have to? Kenyon Martin was a fiery guy. Kenyon Martin didn't do stupid things to get technicals and hurt his team. But he was a fiery guy. Pete Michael was a fiery guy. I've had a lot of fiery guys. But I haven't had any hurt their teammates. That's not right. What did, what did OSU do well defensively tonight? Mike's a hell of a coach, man. I mean, he does a great job. They're, they're always extremely well prepared. Um, defensively, they're, they're, they're really good. And it, and now it doesn't hurt to have a seven foot guy guarding a goal either. But no, I mean, Mike does it. Mike does a fantastic job. I mean, I, I watched the, the, the Kansas game and they, they do a terrific job. Did the game change much when Musa got hurt for you guys? No, they just put in a couple more big guys. <laughs> You know, the free throws come back again today. Um, like you said before, you have to make 100 before you leave practice, or that's what um, you tell the guys, I guess. Is there anything more you can do with that, or is it just focusing in games, or how do you? No, play them. That's coming, too. You can't hurt your team. You can't. And and, and, and at a, a place like ours where, you know, we're, we're, we're going to have 14,000-plus the next two games. People care. People drive hundreds of miles to come and see these guys play. They don't. They don't come to see a guy screw the game up. They don't come to see watch guys miss free throws. They want to come and root for their team. They want to have something to be happy about. They want to be able to take their kids and have their kids grow up Mountaineers. No, that's. I understand that. I understand it, but I was one of those kids. I was one of those kids that'd sit on my grandfather's lap and listen to, to Rod Thorne and company, you know. I was one of those guys that always dreamed of putting a uniform on. So, you know, I get it, but two times we had the game going our way. Two times somebody thought it was more important that they saw him then they saw us. That's wrong. You went on a lengthy run to take the lead in the second half. Eric did get some shots, but what in particular got working for you guys offensively during that stretch? We had better ball movement. We had better ball movement, and, and we actually made some shots. I mean, we, we had shots. Seth had shots, didn't make them. Uh, Keedy had shots, didn't make them. We we just didn't make shots, and then we and then for the second time, the second game in a row, we don't make any free throws, and for the second game in a row, we just take the ball and say, hey, you guys want to play with it for a while? You know, throw it around, throw it out of bounds. We have we had we had we had 20 turnovers, and we had how many this time? 15 this time, so we've had 35 turnovers in two games. How do you call yourself a basketball player when you turn it over 35 times in two games? A basketball team. We got we got a long way to go. The positive thing is we will get there. You know, Patrick hasn't played a lot, but you put him in uh, today. I guess what went into the decision to play him, and what did you think of his minutes? You no, know, I, I I think the point is be ready to play. You never know when you're going to get called on. Mm -hmm. Pat did a great job for us. He did a great job in that deal. I mean, he missed some free throws and missed some missed some shots around the goal. But the thing about Pat is, I think Pat will come in and work a little harder at that at those things now, knowing, knowing and, and, and hoping that he gets another shot. Yeah. I mean, there we got the guys on our team; they can play, or we wouldn't have them. 
but you know, you never know. Emmett picked up two in the first half. How much did that? That hurts us. That hurts us. He's our best perimeter defender. Can you hear me with this? I don't know if that's on or not. But uh, it's just us as a team. We got to come out ready. You know, uh, we came out a little sluggish, got punched in the face. But I thought we responded well for a minute there. But, you know, we we obviously have some, some room to grow when it comes to starting off games, starting off halves the right way. And, you know, obviously we... We can't we can't miss as many free throws as we did. That's that's the second game in a row where the free throw line causes the game, really. You know, is there anything more that you can do there? Coach always says that you guys make a hundred before you leave practice. Does it just come down to focus and games or um I think it comes down to some some guys' integrity, you know. Um whether or not you make a hundred shots before you leave the gym is up to you. Like in a, in a sense, you can you can say that you made a hundred and not actually. I I personally don't know if dudes um, have or haven't. I know I, I make all of mine every day, but you know that's regardless of turnovers and and, and mess miss rotations. Just the it's it's called a free throw for a reason, and and that that's crucial piece of the game. Like we we make. Even five, six more free throws, we win that game. Like it's, it's just, it's insane that 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 is is an area that we're struggling right now. Sure, you guys go on a fifteen-five run to take the lead in the second half. What worked better offensively for you guys during that stretch? Um, we moved the ball more. Uh, I believe that at the beginning we were kind of chasing our own shots individually, but uh, when we got to moving it around is when we got on the run. But it's the matter of us sticking to it because I think we go on a run and then some dudes get excited and, and we do one pass shots instead of sticking to what has got us to run. So, yeah. Did they switch up much defensively in the final minutes when they really clamped down on you guys or was it just lack of execution on your, your guys' part? Um, I would say it was more lack of execution on our part because... We know what we were out there. We know what we were supposed to do, but um, I guess we we got sped up a little bit, and and just I think we were just eager to kind of to get that that scoring margin uh, closer, and, and really just try to take control of the game where we just have to be patient in those moments and, and let the game kind of play out for for us, and I think we'll be fine. Great, thank you. Coach, I will be here. Thank you, guys.